Appalachian Wireless proudly brings you unlimited data. Unlimited data is only $80 a month for a single line. Four lines as low as $200. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless, an East Kentucky network company. Data speeds slow to 25 gigabytes per line to 512 kilobits for phones and tablets and 15 gigabytes for modems. See store for more details. The National Women's March was held a year ago, and this past weekend, events were held across the country to commemorate that landmark demonstration, including one right here in the Pikeville City Park. Millions across the country took part in the National Women's March last year. Millions across the country took part Saturday in events marking the anniversary of that march, and more than 80 people turned out for such an event in Pikeville. Organizers said Saturday's event was a way to continue to bring awareness to issues facing women, including underrepresentation and sexual assault and discrimination. Last year the Women's March was the largest coordinated protest in, in U.S. history, and we're just trying to keep that momentum going. Uh, women are over half of Americans, but they're represented in Senate, they're less than 20 percent. So the real theme is power to the polls, about empowering women to serve in politics and to better serve our communities. We're a creative, intuitive, and brave people because women raised us. <laughs> One in three women, even today, experience sexual or physical violence. And I believe that education is the only solution. I think that is what will empower women to change this. I am a strong woman because I was raised by a strong woman. A lot of people think I was raised by a strong man, which I was. But they didn't know my mother. Turning Point is committed to bringing awareness to our community about women's rights, abuse, domestic violence, child abuse, and all of those community problems that we share. And we just want to support the women and, and the men that come out today for this march. There was also heavy discussion about the need for more women to seek elected office. Right now, I am the only Democrat woman who spends the night in Frankfurt when I go down for session. That means I'm the only woman who has been elected in the Democrat Party from the rural community. Everyone else lives so close to Frankfurt that they drive home every night. I would really like some company. I would really, really love to not be the only woman who survives the red wave. Saturday's speakers were mostly left-leaning progressives, but the event also drew the attention of some of those who leaned to the right. Uh, we just really wanted to come down and, and check it out, and, you know, I felt like um, conservative women and Republican women are a little bit underrepresented in situations and events like this. So we just wanted to let people also know that there is another side, and, and there were a lot of women that did vote for uh, Donald Trump. And, Obviously, he won. It also drew those of all ages. For a long time, I feel like we've pretended like these issues don't exist. They are very real. They may not be as um, pronounced as they were 100 years ago, but this war is not over. We've won many battles in this war, but there are more battles to come, and I'm counting on these little girls to fight them. I just want to. I just want to be someone that stands up for us girls. I love to see these powerful girls come and give me inspiration from what I'm going to do when I'm older. Organizers said the message of the event is diverse and they hope that it reaches all those who need to hear it. This is about um, helping people that are impoverished. This is about helping voices that aren't heard to be heard. And this is about supporting and uniting. Stop the hate. Stop the violence. Kentucky women won't be silenced. In Pikeville, Chris Anderson, EKB News.